lot of people are keeping their sentences in Google Sheets. So I'm going to show you how you can convert those into audio files. So I just have sentences here um, in English and then in Spanish. And I've added a menu called Create Audio Files. Uh, ask it to generate. It'll bring up a menu. It says, what's the target language? And I can pick what I've written it in. And there's some variations on some of them, so Mexican or Spanish here. Uh, what row do I want to start in? How many rows do I want to do? How many times do I want it to repeat the Spanish sentence? And do I want the English sentence included or only Spanish? So I'll have English followed by two copies of the Spanish. I'll just get to make those. This will probably take about five or six seconds, I would think. Okay, it's done. Put the link here. You can click the link and go listen. And there we are. It's one all combined into one file. They love pizza. Les encanta la pizza. Les encanta la pizza. He speaks three languages. Habla tres idiomas. Habla tres idiomas. The sun rises in the east. El sol sale por el este. El sol sale por el este. Okay, so that was one English, two Spanish, and you can configure that however you want. And you could also now download and have those files for however you want to use them. Okay, so how do you get this for yourself? Um, well, first I should say also, um, Google will do some throttling and some limits, so don't ask it to make a thousand sentences at a time. It won't work. Um, 100, 200, maybe even a little more is probably fine, but no more than that. Okay, so here is a, let's just get the sentences, copy them. Here's a completely blank sheet. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build it. Put the um, sentences in so we can see them. And then there's going to be two files we need. Uh, the first one is the code. And um, this will be in the description. So we select the code and copy it. Then go into extensions, app scripts. And it'll bring up this little window for the code. Is it some, some empty thing there? Get rid of that. Put the code in. Save it. Then there's one more file we're going to need to make that little menu we had on the right, which is HTML. Um, we're going to select it all. We're going to copy it. You can see this is the languages on this one. Um, and then we go to files, hit the little plus button, hit HTML, call this um, audio um, it's not the right name, but I'll find it in a minute. Yeah. Put the code in, and what did I call this? Audio form, so I have to rename this. Audio, so it does need to match. Audio form, that code, save it. Go back to the main code, run it. Now it's going to ask for permission. Put it in this account, advanced, go to project, select all, continue. That's all the permissions, ran it, complete. Um, we're done with this business and we come back over here. And now in this sheet, you can see it's made this file and everything is working. Uh, let me know in the comments any questions and there is um, more stuff on the way.